Hey everybody, it's Star. Today I wanted to come to you with a crab video. Um, I was just recently thrifting with my sister and we came across a hundred of these little itty bitty Gerber jars, Gerber baby food jars. And I thought this would be so cute to put on a craft desk or maybe an office desk um anything of that nature so i thought it would be really cute to get a couple of them get a couple of them and you know do an upcycle on them first what i did with my jars i soaked them in hot soapy water i peeled off my labels um, i got a little bit of baking soda and olive oil and just rubbed it on that glue or the gook that's still left from your label and it comes right off um and what I'll do is I'll show you, first I'll show you what you'll need. You will need, and you don't have to get baby food jars. You can get any kind of jar that you want. They have jars at the Dollar Tree, Walmart, thrift store. You can get jars anywhere in any different sizes, anything that you want to do. Um, you can get any kind of toy that you find laying around in your kids' room that they don't use anymore. You can go to the Dollar Tree, you can go to the thrift store, you can get any kind of small toy that'll fit on top of your jar and kind of be proportioned with your jar. You'll need a uh, 600 glue. You'll need some kind of spray paint to prime your um, toys. You will need any kind of acrylic paint any kind of color bright pastel anything fun that you want to do you will need a paintbrush you will need some kind of filler i'm addicted to glitter and sequins um you can use sequins you can use clothes pins you can use paper clips you can use baker's twine you can use gum you can use sugar anything that you can think of that you want right there at your reach on your desk on your nightstand um on your coffee table anything that you want to put on there you can do um and i apologize for the thunder i'm outside um it's a really beautiful day but I, it is a little cloudy so i apologize for that thundering but what you want to do you want to clean your jar really good and if you do plan on putting food in your jar you do want to make sure that you clean your lids properly um you, you want to clean it really good so basically what i did was i took my e600 glue and you only have to have i mean the just a dab of glue so you want just a tad of your E600 glue and you want to clean fairy. with your E600 glue and you just want to get it on there any kind of not fairy but any kind of toy you want to place your toy firmly that E600 you want to make sure it does dry um, for about a day just to make sure that it's completely dry and secure um, depending on the toy if it's top heavy you can go along the edges with just a little bit more of the E600 and take a craft knife and just cut off some of that excess. Um, but if it's a really lightweight toy, you shouldn't have any problems with it sticking on there. But you want to make sure it's completely dry. Um, after that, you'll give it a really good spray of spray paint and you're going to use your spray paint as your primer so that way your colors will show up very you know true to color real vibrant and pretty and bright um so that's what we'll do next we have our fairies on there what you'll do is just take your jar you'll set that aside you only need your fairy and what we'll do is we'll give the fairy the whole entire fairy and with toys they have a lot of nooks and crannies so you want to make sure that you get in between you want to get every single wear because you don't want you know a pop of color when you go to try to add your acrylic paint to it and it's not as easy to get it to adhere to it so with that white spray paint um your when you go to put your acrylic paint on there it's going to just flow easily and it'll just go straight on there for my spray paint i did uh, i went to hobby lobby it's 349 
uh, Krylon. I just got the basic white paint. Um, that's gonna be your best choice. Not the brand, but the color. You always you can use any kind of spray paint, just as long as it's a white spray paint. And you want to give your spray paint a good shake. Um, and like I said, you want to spray everything evenly. Give me one second. I'll be right back, and we'll go ahead and we'll get the paint. I'll show you how I apply mine. All right, everybody. So now this is the spraying process that I use. It's not really a certain way you can do it. You just want to make sure that you're getting in closely to all the nooks and crannies. But you basically you can leave it standing up. You want to give it a good spray on your front side. You're going to go along and make sure you're getting on the sides of your lids. You want to get on the sides, under the under, under parts. You just want to give it a really good spray. Now, of course, with this spray paint, it is going to take away some of the features from your figurine or anything that you're using. But you'll still be able to make out that general shape of whatever it is that you're spray painting. And it really doesn't matter. Nobody will be looking into it that close to where you'll be able to notice all your details from your figurine or your tool. All right. So now that we have our fairy or your toy or whatever it is that you figurine that you decide to use. Now that we have it completely painted. Like I said, you will lose some of those features, but it'll be just fine. You will be able to make out that general shape. But you want to let this dry for at least I mean I, I would do 24 hours but you you really want to make sure that it's completely dry because you just don't want it to be you know just semi dry and then you go on and you pile on a bunch of acrylic paint it'll take forever to dry but so we'll scoot her out of the way and what I'll do and basically after that acrylic paint dries you take any kind of not acrylic well once your spray paint dries you take any kind of acrylic paint um that you want to use you go over your figurine maybe with that acrylic paint two times and that should be good and then you're completely done what i'll do is i'll show you some of the ones that i already have finished and like i said i'm addicted to sequins and glitter so this is one of them this is a yellow one and it's full of clothes pins this one is um just random sequins glitter buttons paper uh what is this more this is large glitter and these are just huge sequins but that is my complete set um and actually the one that i did that i show you uh that i just spray painted i'll be doing that one in a mint green it's called lime sorbet what is it oh lime sherbet i'll be doing that one in lime sherbet and it's a really pretty soft green color and for that jar i wanted a lot of different textures and different things going on so with that one i'll be filling that one with twine just to give it a different texture i wanted to add the clothes pins in and then i'll have um this for a little roughness just so everything's just not super shiny and pretty so i'll throw some of this in there and what i can do and how i was thinking about putting it in there i really like how it's already so i peel the bottom of that off i did kind of want to keep it wound up um so what i'll do is just fold that in half and hopefully I can slide it off. I'll see if I can slide it off. Okay. And what I'll do is kind of leave it wound up. And I'll place it in there. And then what I'll do, once that one dries and I get her all painted up and pretty, I'll come back and I'll show you the complete set. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, um, you can ask questions. If you want to see the video where I do a complete painting, spray paint, if you want to see that, until next time, I'll see you then.